All right, so uh, I'm going to go through the Barry method of factoring with you guys right now, just so that you can see all the different types of factoring that's totally available to you. Um, this is called the Barry method. Don't know who came up with the Barry method. I don't know why they call it the Barry method. Um, and frankly, it's not of any actual value, uh, that information anyway. It's just more important that we know how to do it. As with all things factoring, there is a procedure. Uh, well, all right. And the first part of the procedure, determine and factor GCF, right? Well, uh, the GCF, pretty obvious here, is going to end up being, I see that there's uh, some even numbers, 6, 4, and 2. So I know that 2 is the smallest I can pull out. And it looks like 2 is about as small as it's going to get there before I start getting crazy. I've got x cubed, x squared, x. So I know an x is going to flop out of there too. And now what I'm left with is 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right. Next thing. And I'm just going to go ahead and ignore this, but make sure it finds its way back in the end. Okay. So now this is the actual part where we factor the trinomial. This is the actual, uh, this is the thing that we're going to focus on breaking up uh, right here. All right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is set up parentheses. Uh, like this boom 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 so it's like that that binomial and what goes in front of both of these the first term is a x a x now what's gonna happen is if we were to foil these out we'd have an extra a being multiplied so we're gonna have to end up getting rid of an a okay that's just what we're gonna have to do in the end all right so I set these up and here we see the a value is 3. So 3x goes here, and 3x goes here. Okay, And I know that the 2x is still there. I'm just kind of ignoring it for right now. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be these other things in here. Like who knows what else is supposed to go in here. Right, it's going to be a plus or a minus and something or other. But we know that the first term is going to be these things here. Okay, so I know that there's going to be a plus or a minus or who knows, right? So we'll say plus, plus. We just don't know what these things are going to be. So let's make it really clear here. Now, as stated before in class, one thing that uh, we will always come back to is the magic numbers. And that's exactly what goes in here. Okay? So the next thing I do, place the magic numbers. The magic numbers are, it, it, it never hurts to find these right out of the gate. In parentheses, whoopsie. All right, so now I'm gonna find the magic numbers. Well. As stated before, the way that we set out to find these magic numbers is we say 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply the 3 and the 2. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And I'm going to look for factors of 6, right, which add up to this middle bit, which is negative 5, and I want factors which add up to that. So i got to find out what those things are exactly. All right. So I'm going to start breaking up factors of 6. And you guys should be getting good at this at this point, OK? Then what's going to happen is I know that since they're going to multiply to a negative and add to a positive, they have to both be negative. And now I'm just going to worry about the 6. Well, what are things that multiply to 6 that add to 5? Well, that's going to obviously be 3 and 2. So I know that my magic numbers 
are negative 3 and negative 2. You're going to have to pardon the speed in this, okay? But this is actually a really fast uh, method, so I don't want to spend forever uh, kind of writing everything out and making it confusing. All right, so what I've got here, okay? And I'm just slowly kind of building these up, okay? I've got the 3x here first, and I found my magic numbers were negative 3 and negative 2. So now those go right in there. All right, look, I went and did it again. I got all excited about negative 3. So it's negative 3 and negative 2. All right, last step. The last step. Now we knew right out of the gate that there was an extra A. So all we have to do is find the hidden A. and delete it. What am I talking about? All right, so basically I look at both of these trinomials and I look for a three in there. And then I factor it out and get rid of it. Well, this guy right there looks like has that three. So I pop the three out and what I'm left with I'm just going to do all this in black now. X minus 1, right, because I pull the 3 out of the 3x and the 3. And 3x minus 2. And now what I can do is totally get rid of the 3 in its entirety. And now I'm left with this thing. Well, let's be careful, because most folks would think we're done, but don't forget about this jobby here. There's supposed to be a 2x out front. And this is our final factorization. Obviously, at this stage in the game, I would recommend uh, doing some distribution and multiplying some binomials uh, using FOIL or however you remember it for that uh, to make life uh, easier for you and make you more confident in your answer. Uh, if you don't like this method, by all means, I encourage you to find one that you do love. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with the 10,000 problems it will take in order to obtain mastery for all things factoring. Thanks.